Welcome back to Carolina Week. I'm weather forecaster Mallory Nichols. The last couple of days you've seen a little bit of an increase in temperatures and those temperatures will continue to increase. We'll be seeing a little bit or a much more significant warming over the next couple of days. Also, you know, our biggest issue is the drought. Will we get a little bit of rain for this week? There is a slight chance for Wednesday night, so we'll need to keep an eye on that and hopefully it'll bring us a pretty good amount of precipitation. We'll take a look out later in the tropics to see if there's any kind of activity going on out there. We are still in hurricane season, so we'll take a look to see if anything's going to help us out there with the drought system. If we go to the satellite and radar, you'll see that we do have a little bit of a cloud cover over Raleigh right now, and we do have a little bit of a system up north to us that brought us a few showers this morning and a little bit of sprinkles all that throughout the day. So that's moving up to the north of us, but not affecting us too much. If we take a closer look, You'll see that uh, we do have a little bit of cloud covers, a little bit of that precipitation is moving down into our area, but majority of North Carolina is pretty clear for the most part. Take a look at the surface map. We're in a high pressure system right now, bringing us those warmer temperatures. Do want to take a look back a little bit to the east to see there is a cold front heading our way and a little bit of a warm up up north that will start to extend down, bringing us a little bit of those showers on Wednesday night. And then if we take a look at the Tuesday surface map, you'll see that warm pressure or that warm front has moved off the coast. We do have a little bit of the low pressure out back that we're going to have to continue to watch as it moves east towards us. And if we take a look at Wednesday, you'll see that is a little bit closer to us right now. And then we'll, uh, it was a little bit closer to us. And then we'll see that those will bring those showers on Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and hopefully it'll bring us those temperatures. Take a look out in the tropics. You'll see there is some cloud cover right here out to the west or the east of us. Not much going on. It is hurricane season, so it's pretty abnormal for us not to be seeing anything, and we kind of hope that not a hurricane will hit us, but some precipitation would hit us. Take a look at the, the four-day forecast. You'll see Tuesday and Wednesday we do have some sunny skies, and Thursday we do see a little bit of that chance of rain. There's about a 30% chance, so we'll keep an eye on that for Thursday morning. And then Friday we have sunny skies as well. If we take a look at the temperatures, you'll see it's going to increase on Wednesday and or Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday we're going to start to see a little bit of decrease with those low temperatures decreasing as well. So hopefully we'll see a little bit of that rain on Thursday or Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So oh, and we definitely need we the really rain. We really do. Sure yep. do. Yeah. Mallory, thanks. Thanks. Thanks to Animal Shelter Appreciation Week, almost 40 animals have new homes, but there are still many animals that need a new home, like this week's featured pet. Meet Blackjack, a one-year-old Border Collie mix. He's a smart puppy who always has lots of energy. In fact, he spends most of his time jumping and <laughs> jumping. He came to the shelter about a month ago, and now he's looking to be someone's favorite companion. For more information about how you can adapt Blackjack or any of the other animals at the shelter, go to our website at carolinaweek.org. And now we're joined with Mark Alexic with our sports update. Mark, what a disappointing game on Saturday. That's all I have to say. Disappointing has been kind of a recurring word this season, but uh, definitely the case on Saturday. And uh, coming up in sports, the football team helped the Wolfpack's win streak. And this time, good Carolina defense was not enough. We'll bring you the story from Carter Finley. 